So JAMA just did a crazy study on how pediatric patients were more likely to have long COVID based off a bunch of new factors. Essentially, they found thousands of children who had long COVID who were under the age of 18, and then they then found which ones were most likely to have this based off of familial characteristics. They found two of the biggest factors were not actually genetic, but it ended up being just economic instability as well as food insecurity. Depending on how severe their conditions were, the likelihood that it increased was anywhere from about 53% more likely to have long COVID all the way up to about 140%. It unfortunately gets even worse when they accounted for other variables such as how likely the community was to participate in the growth of the family as well as just the mother's overall educational background. Things like that drastically impacted the child's rate of developing long COVID over time. The crazy part is I've only really mentioned about three or four different areas that they evaluated to see how it impacted it when really the study goes over about almost 20 different types of areas and how each one can kind of impact it over time. To see the full breakdown of that analysis, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack where I break it down for free each day.